alter ego at the movies. He knows a thing or two. Walter Ego at the movies. He's coming right at you. Milk. Starring Sean Penn and directed by Gus Van Zandt is easily one of the best films I have seen this year. Now I expected another excellent performance from Sean Penn and indeed this film does sport one of his best ever. But what really struck me about this film was the intimate way that it explores the last and very public decade of gay activist and politician Harvey Milk's life. I have always felt that Gus Van Zandt is one of our most overrated directors. His mediocrity has been aided and excused perhaps by the fact that he is the most visible gay director working in what folks in the know now call Indiewood, that strange nexus of top flight actors, modest budgets, and excellent creative storytelling that just might save American cinema from its addiction to over bloated blockbusters. I found Van Zant to be at his absolute worst a few years ago with the film Elephant, an appallingly indulgent exercise in cinematic wanking that exploited the Columbine tragedy to demonstrate just how artsy Mr. Van Zant could be. Thankfully, none of that ego is on display in this film Milk. What we get instead is understated storytelling that allows the remarkable life of Harvey Milk to be told on the screen. Penn so completely immerses himself in the role of Harvey Milk that I completely forgot that I was watching one of our greatest actors plying his trade. Supporting performances are also excellent, most notably that of James Franco as Milk's longtime partner, Scott, and of course Josh Brolin as the tortured Dan White, he of the now infamous Twinkie defense. Van Zant and his crew use a remarkable attention to detail to bring late 70s San Francisco to life. Remember the Coors beer boycott and those flip top cans that were that brewer's trademark? Milk has got them. How about the original Levi and the old packaging of Kodak film? Milk has got them too. These period details do not exist in a vacuum or as some type of production design show off routine. They serve to put meat on the bone of this remarkable engaging tale. Harvey Milk always asked his supporters to be true to themselves, to be their best selves. Milk the movie embraces the same fierce decency. Everything about this production, including Danny Elfin's moving musical score, supports this theme, and Milk the movie is all the better for it. Milk is easily the best biopic that I have seen in years, and you most certainly don't have to be gay to appreciate it. Harvey Milk use the issue of gay rights to argue for equality and fairness for all Americans. My name is Harvey Milk, he used to say, and I'm here to recruit you. If you go see Milk, you just might sign up for the cause. Walter Ego says, take a long drink of this milk. It's good for more than just your bones. Walter Ego at the movies, he knows a thing or two. Walter Ego at the movies, he's coming.